Good morning. What theme characterized the initial evangelistic message that Paul delivered to the Thessalonians? Today we're reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. I'll read from the uh, NASB today. So in his epistle, Paul is still writing about the early years of the Thessalonian congregation, and they did what they did through much affliction, both on Paul's way there and, of course, there in Thessalonica. They had plenty to work with as well, a lot of challenges. Be that as it may, this group of people turned. They turned from idolatry to serve the living God. They were, they were fairly quick. They were very repentant. And so that must have been very uh, pleasing to see that, that reaction in them. So what was the driving force in this total lifestyle change? We see here that uh, the message of Jesus' soon return was a big part of it. So Paul reminds them that, that Jesus rose from the dead. I mean, this is pretty intense stuff here. And he talks even about the wrath to come. I mean, this is not a smoothed out, um, made velvety and smooth, buttery smooth message. This, this is pretty strong material. And Paul is not going to hesitate to present that. He is going to present the truth straight up, undiluted. And I think that has a lot to do with what happened in Thessalonica, what the Holy Spirit was able to do with the people there in Thessalonica. So this message wasn't kind of a, a uh, benign picnic between beer parties. And this wasn't, remember how the, when Paul goes to Athens, how they kind of laughed at him when he talked about Jesus rising from the dead. Uh, Jesus didn't modify that. He didn't smooth that out or, or, or drop it off. He didn't downgrade that part of his message. He was very determined to deliver that message, and he didn't dilute it. And God blessed what happened. Strong messages. Strong messages were called for then, and strong messages are called for now. If we want strong churches, we must have strong messages. And if they're going to be strong, they have to be Bible messages. My point here is very simple. This church was not raised up out of a nothing burger. This wasn't raised up out of a, some kind of a namby-pamby message. This was raised from a strong message and became a strong spiritual force for the gospel of the Lord Jesus in this part of the world. Something to keep in mind as we, as we do our service to Jesus today in our local churches where we are. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the Thessalonian church. Thank you that Paul preached a strong message, didn't round any corners, and that your Holy Spirit blessed. Thank you that the Thessalonians, many of them responded uh, by turning to Jesus wholeheartedly, how they responded by ditching their idols and turning to the living God. So, Lord, please help us. There are idols in our world, just as there were in that, in that world. Help us to teach a strong message. Help us to live it out and help us to turn from our idols to serve the living God. Help us to be a church with these positive pieces, the spiritual strength that we see here. We want it too, Lord. Bless us and grow us. That's our prayer today. We ask for it in Jesus' name. Amen. So the second coming was a very important theme in that this church, and it should be an important theme in our church as well. God be with you today as you serve the Lord Jesus. Jesus is coming.